Jesus loves me. He loves me still. Though I'm very weak and ill. From his shining throne on high. He comes to watch me. Where I lie. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host Khadija. It's very early in the morning where I am, um, and I've just been dealing with some of the most craziest news, y'all. Um, as y'all know, Milwaukee is a haven uh, for pimps, hoes, always has been. I mean, it, Iceberg Slim, you can just go back. What if Ice Cube, Ice T, I'm sorry, Cube, pimps up, hoes down. I mean, we got lady pimps. We got, Milwaukee is full of that type of degradants, I should say. And um, a lot of child trafficking my uh, relative lives in the suburb, my brother, actually. And, um, you know, one of his sons couldn't believe that his neighbor had a Bentley. And he was like, Dad, there's a Bentley. This guy got a Bentley around the corner. And when my brother checked it out, he was like, what, really? Because everybody knows Bentley. It was like about a quarter of a million dollar car young brother so later he was arrested for child trafficking he had he's got 26 children and all no more than three of them by the same one I mean and this was his life he was stealing people's kids and selling them Okay, it, there's no other way to describe it. So, of course, um, uh, first of all, and my heart goes out to Sheena Scarborough. Uh, she's dealing, and her family is dealing with an incredible loss right now. Um, their daughter went missing on April 1st. And... Um, She'd been asking the public for help in finding her. Uh, she last saw her daughter on Easter Sunday at a family dinner. It was like a normal family visit. We had a good engagement. Milwaukee police said someone last saw Sade the next day on April 1st at her home. Scarborough said that she last heard from her daughter via text Monday afternoon. This is this is a, a parent's worst nightmare, you know. And I don't care how old your daughter or uh, son gets, you know. You always go back to the day you delivered them into this world. Sometimes you ask why. But, um. You see them as the baby. Um, so it's really, really difficult for any parent to have to go through that. You know, Sheena said that she last from her daughter, like I said, via text on Monday afternoon. And she said her mother, she told her mother to send her $15. Something that Sheena said that is very unusual. But she was happy to do so. Robinson was studying criminal justice at Milwaukee Area Technical College, had two jobs, and was about to join the Air Force. Scarborough said she wouldn't just go off on her own and not tell family and friends. So she's sick and she's heartbroken. I mean, y'all, she she's so she's so devastated that. You 
can't even stand to be in the same environment. I mean, anybody that's going through this type of grief, you don't know what to say to them. You know, um, she talked about how they are close-knit family, and they they talk every day. And according to family, after Robinson didn't show up for work Tuesday, a co-worker called Milwaukee police and asked them to do a welfare check. Police didn't find her. But Scarborough said detectives did find her daughter's burnt car near 30th and Lisbon, about two miles from her home. Milwaukee police did not respond to questions about the alleged burnt car on Thursday. Scarborough believes someone that Robinson knew hurt her. Somebody harmed my daughter. Somebody hurt my daughter. I know it. Now the family is begging for a safe return. She was scheduled to graduate next month. Her birthday is May 10th. Shade Sheena, that's my baby, Scarborough said. Police tell WISN Milwaukee, I mean 12, News Robinson that she's still considered critically missing. She's about 5 feet tall, 135 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. Robinson is possibly wearing a black coat, white hooded sweatshirt, blue jeans, and white shoes. Anyone who has any information they asking you to call the police department at 935-414-935-7252-935-7252 with the area code being 411. 414. I'm sorry. I'm just screwing this all up. Um... As if that wasn't disturbing enough. As if that wasn't disturbing enough. The police are coming up with body parts. So we don't know if we got another Jeffrey Dahmer in the city or what. We do know that, um, you know, it's getting real, real sick. You know, um, they're finding body parts all over the city. A possible body part was found on April 5th in the city's Walnut Hill neighborhood near 30th Street in Lisbon. That comes just three days after Milwaukee County Sheriff Department confirmed that there was a severed human leg and discovered it at Warnermont Park. It's not yet clear whether the discoveries are related. However, according to WISN, the area of 30th and Lisbon is where the car belonging to the missing 19-year-old Sade Robinson was torched. MOS can confirm that a human leg was discovered in or near the water today at Warnermark Park, east of the golf course by the pump house. Cudahy police were initially notified and in turn notified the sheriff's office who is leading the investigation. According to the Sheriff's Department on April, in an April 5th news release on Thursday, April 4th, after securing a search warrant, MCSO detectives and deputy sheriffs converged on a residence on Milwaukee South Side. And for those that don't know, the South Side is predominantly white. In the area of South 39th Street and Oklahoma Avenue, and took a person of interest into custody for questioning. The person of interest name is not being released. 
Officials have not released the name of the victim or any motive. Here's what you need to know. A severed leg was discovered by a person who was patronizing Warnermark Park. Uh, James Burnett of the, I mean, the spokesman for Milwaukee County Sheriff's Department wrote that just before 5.30 p.m. on April 2nd, the Milwaukee County Dispatch 911 Caller Center was notified about a discovery of a leg in or near the water at Warnermark Park east of the golf course by the pump house. Cudahy police were initially notified and in turn notified the sheriff, which is leading the investigation, he wrote. After the leg was confirmed to be human, and as the investigation continues and gains steam, I can clarify to you that the limb was discovered by an individual walking. What the fuck? Fuck, I know that messed the rest of your day up. Excuse my language. At the time, the aftermath of the discovery is categorized as a death investigation, albeit suspicious. Shit, wow. What do you think, the leg just jumped off from the rest of the body? When asked whether the leg is being investigated as a homicide, that's what they said. Well, it's albeit suspicious, um... We, we just categorize it as a suspicious situation. However, in an April 6th update, the department wrote that the leg discovery is now being investigated as a homicide. In a statement posted to their Facebook page, Cudahy Police wrote, Cudahy Police responded to a call on Tuesday, April 2nd, of a report of a se severed leg near Lake Michigan in Warnermark Park. God damn. Oh, the cutest girl with the biggest smile. She, her Facebook uh, page says that um, <coughs> she went to Ida S. Baker High School, studied at Milwaukee Area Technical College, Excuse me. Went to Riverside High School and lives in the Milwaukee area. She's from Vicksburg, Mississippi. Now her mother is beyond. She's just inconsolable. And uh, I know she left for a few days because the press is around her house and. Uh, I can imagine. Uh, so you don't want to be in the thick of all that. Her mother, Sheena Scarborough, wrote, I'm going to haunt this sick Emma M. Effer in his sleep and dreams and in hell when I'm done. Whomever hurt my baby, Sade, keep talking to us, baby. Keep talking. They will be dealt with. I promise you. In another post, she wrote, Lord, I'm so weak. I know you are. I'm sick. Who would harm my baby? And on April 5th, she wrote, Keep sharing our stories daily. Please bring my daughter home. Scarborough told her again, you know, told the news that it's very unusual for her mother, for her daughter to ask for money, uh, especially $15. Um, and her getting away from here to join the Air Force couldn't have happened fast enough. She says, and they knew that when she didn't show up at her job, they they knew right then beyond suspicion something, something was wrong. Uh, then there was a neighbor who said she was live, lived behind over on 30th and Lisbon. She saw the, catch, the car out there catching on fire. All of a sudden, it was getting bigger and bigger. So I called the fire department. Then you could hear the alarm going off and the airbags exploding. Uh, wow. Oh, 
Oh, y'all. Um, anyway, Milwaukee police have released a critical missing alert. Alert. The alert says police are asking for the public's assistance in locating the crim critically missing person, Shade Carlina Robinson. She was last seen in the area of 1800 North Commerce Street on Monday, April 1st. She is 19 year old and 19 year old and approximately five feet, 135 pounds, as I said before. Um, and finding the car burnt out on 30th and Lisbon, and finding the body part over there as well. It, it doesn't make things look good. Shana. But God is in control. And I just want y'all, all of y'all who pray and prayer warriors, I'm asking you to pray that this woman don't lose her mind. I'm asking you to pray that she can maintain Um, under these dark, heavy circumstances. Very, very sad. Very sad. And um, my heart goes out to the whole family because you really don't know what to say to anybody in these kind of circumstances. I know I don't. And if y'all do, just give me some suggestions. I've lost brothers and sisters. I've never had anybody really brutally. This sounds like some Jeffrey Dahmer stuff, really. And y'all know we haven't healed from Jeff Dahmer and all the mayhem that he wreaked on this city. And now, all over the place, we find that women burnt up in the cars, burnt up uh, young girls, babies. And most of them these things are done by a man who is willing to take advantage of somebody they can overpower and control. And that's a problem. And keep this family in your prayers. And as you go to church today and you meditate and you have your services keep the scarborough family in your prayers because they they need it and with that being said if you like what you hear please like subscribe and share my channel if you have any information please call the police department i mean i don't care how small and that number again is 414-935-7252 I'll see you in the next video.